Over the timeline of the United States of America, we have established ourselves as a massive nation and a force to be reckoned with. The rest of the world has marveled at the success of the USA in areas such as economics, technology, military, and cheap cheeseburgers. The list goes on and on. The events preceding our current status were full of valiant acts of American men and women who worked to make this country the superpower it is today, even though they faced opposition and abrupt changes. The United States of America has had an ever-changing identity and theme of our existence. Each turn of a century brought new issues and treasures alike and allowed for new growth among the people. Today we learn about what it means to be an American across the centuries. The 1600s, the predecessor era to America's beginnings, bared an overarching theme of seeking opportunity. European powers of the time, such as Spain, France, and especially England established many colonies to bring economic fortune to their respective countries. Among the most notable of these was the colony of Jamestown, which became quite prosperous to England. The people that reaped the resources of their colonies were the citizens of their homelands seeking new employment opportunities along with a spirit of adventure. Similarly, places like the Massachusetts Bay were full of people after religious freedom, and they utilized the opportunity to create a civilization based on their moral ideals. The 1700s were all about the birth of the USA and the establishment of the country we know today. After the basic foundations of the colony were laid, they began to evolve into powerful economic sources and grow at a separate rate of their homeland. The American English colonies in particular had a rebellious population. High taxation and little to no representation bred a new spirit of sovereignty among the people, and after a war of which the outcome was surprising, the U.S. began to create its own government. The goal was perfected and finalized upon the ratification of the U.S. Constitution in 1789. By the end of the century, the U.S. had distinguished itself as a place of freedom and a life of liberty for its citizens. Ultimately, the 1700s were about the United States citizens exercising their newfound freedom that they fought so hard to reclaim from the overbearing British Empire. The 1800s bared a theme of growth and expansion for our fairly young nation. As population grew, both domestically and through immigration, new space and new economic fronts were needed for the rise in inhabitants. Americans began to explore the West, create new settlements, and ultimately shape the land we know as America today. Industrialization also allowed us to build things bigger, craft things quicker, and make things more effective. With the use of materials like steel, vehicles like the locomotive, and new energy sources like electricity, the U.S. became like the modern world we know today. It was a massive step of growth that set the stage for the years to come. The 1900s were a remarkable time for exercising our built-up power and resolving, and sometimes starting, conflicts on a worldwide level. A decade into the 20th century, U.S. nationalism was higher than ever, and troops were deployed to help end a bloody European conflict, only to have the enemy return even more poor, but angry and strong. Like all Americans do, we aggressively hushed that enemy and proved twice in a row that we were the king of world wars. And weapons. Shortly after, economic styles clashed as the United States engaged in what could be called a global Mexican standoff with Soviet Russia. The Big Bear and Eagle fought against each other in every way possible without directly firing at one another, yet still keeping their fingers close to the buttons to launch nuclear missiles. Smaller countries were annexed, their citizens indoctrinated, and sides chosen. The world began to grow a divide between Western capitalism and Eastern communism. Sure, we showed the communists who was boss in a few instances, but in the end, no ground was actually gained for either side. By the end of the 20th century, the US had resolved most of its global conflicts aside from some intervention in the Middle East. The world could finally overcome the hatred through the centuries and work together, while still keeping a respective distance from others' affairs. The theme of the 2000s was an interesting one. America had grown to no fear. That said, we learned how to overcome it as well, and become an unstoppable force. With most of the world, with exception of the Middle East, growing on such a prosperous and supposedly peaceful field, nothing could possibly break the unity of the world, right? Wrong. Fear ruled the citizens with attacks from small insurgency that disrupted the flow of the world. Large and also controversial measures were taken to silence the savages that slaughter innocent people today. Across the Middle Eastern region, warfare became more complicated than ever before, with men, women, and children fighting for extremist beliefs. The military continues to have difficulty dealing with terrorists due to their use of camouflage amongst native civilians. Things weren't and still aren't calm on the domestic front either. The U.S. government has overall become an annoyance to its avoiders, and people scramble to find those who will restore order to the government, free of corruption and division. The American people relentlessly fight and vote for a country to be proud of. 
Much is left of the 21st century, and plenty of events can take place in that time. But I still believe the U.S. is a glorious country and will continue to be so. We have had a rich history, full of work and triumph. Future citizens can contribute to the story of America and reshape it to be the glorious country it has always been.